Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank Bank Hometown for helping make the show happen. And with uh, our second segment, we have two guests, and uh, we're pleased they could be with us. Uh, Western New England School of Law uh, is a member of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. Western New England School of Law is affiliated with the Western New England University in, in Springfield, Massachusetts. And I want to welcome uh, Arielle Clemmer, who is the director of the Center for Social Justice and an adjunct professor at the Law of Law and Social Change at Western New England uh, School of Law. And we also have Gladys Villa, Villa Carreras, who is the yeah. staff attorney for Western New England yes. School of Law. Well, welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. So, uh, you know, just as we were kind of getting ready to start the segment, we were just get for our viewers, uh, Western New England University, uh, a variety of academic programs, about 2,500 students, uh, and at the law school, about 400 students. Yep. And uh, share a campus. It's a very nice campus, and I say that having being an alum mm -hmm. of the law school, <laughs> and the nickname for Western uh, New England University is the Golden Bears. Bears. That's so right. So we got all the facts and stats out of the way. <laughs> and Ariel and, and Gladys helped uh, help look up and verify before we, we, we went live. So maybe uh, we could start with you, Ariel. You could talk a little bit about the, the Center for Social Justice and the work that it does. Thank you so much. Um, so the center is relatively new. It started in 2019. Um, it was the brainchild of our former dean, Sarasetti, who really wanted to create a hub of social justice activity, both for the law school, as you mentioned, the campus community, and also the public at large. Um, I'm the first full-time director of the center. I came on in March of 2020, uh, a very auspicious beginning mm -hmm. the week that we were sent home right, for pandemic right. reasons. But um, since then, the center has really grown terrifically. Our mission is to advance justice, um, and we do that through research, education, advocacy, innovative projects, and public engagement. And so um, we'll talk a little bit here, hopefully, about the work that we do. But we have both um, programming around social justice, client-facing initiatives where we do actually free legal services for the community, mm -hmm. and lots of other speakers and panelists and events to help um, engage in conversation around social justice. And you mentioned Dean Setti. Uh, she, you know, deserves credit. Uh, she started the center, but she also, you know, worked with the, 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 the law school team to expand a presence here in Worcester uh, in central Massachusetts because we have a number of uh, businesses and organizations that need well-trained, qualified attorneys and uh, looking to kind of broaden that, that Western New England uh, network. And uh, it, it doesn't hurt that the new president of Western New England University is Robert Johnson, who was the former president of Becker uh, mm -hmm. College, and then UMass Dartmouth, who has been now maybe two years it's again with COVID hard to track mm -hmm. time, but uh, maybe uh, well, maybe close to two years as yeah. the new president. Yes, correct. So some connections there. So Gladys, uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about your work as a staff attorney, and before we we can talk about the commute, you know, from yes. Worcester to Springfield yes, too, which isn't yes. that bad. Yeah. So I'm the staff attorney at the Center for Social Justice, and I work directly with our three projects. We have the CDI, the uh, Consumer Debt Initiative. Uh, through that project, we offer free legal representation in consumer debt collection cases. We also have the Cori project. Uh, we help people seal and expunge their criminal records. And the GAPE, GAPE project, it's gender affirming ID project. Uh, through that project, we help people update their federal and state uh, IDs mm -hmm. according to their gender. And pretty much we serve, uh, we give direct services to the, to the community. That's what we uh, do in, in the center. And let me just talk to you, if I could, could Gladys, about the Corey piece uh, and how important it is. You know, almost with an increased level of urgency uh, from, you know, as a chamber, we represent over 2,300 member businesses in Central Mass and mm -hmm. in, in, in Southern Worcester County and uh, heading out to the Central Mass, Western Mass border. And just every sector in need of, of, of people who are motivated to work, go to work. Uh, and, you know, people coming into the workplace uh, have sometimes issues, challenges, need to be trained. But the Corey piece is really important because, uh, you know, if someone had an issue a number of years ago or just simply has, you know, met their, their, their requirement, if somebody had trouble with the law or got, mm -hmm. and, and there was an issue and uh, a sentence or whatever, and they've served that. 
you know, it should be exactly. a clean slate, but sometimes it's an impediment for people to go to work and there are employers that get frustrated sometimes because yes. they want to hire the person, but there are issues regarding Corey. H how do you help the, uh, them work through that? Well, many people that, for them, it has been something, uh, you know, from a long time ago. Sometimes it's a youth um, error and a youth mistake. mistake. So decision. they have, you yep. know, they, they have the, through the Cori expungement and sealing, they have the opportunity to start again, to, to start their lives again. Um, many people also, and it's not only about, about employers, it has to do also with housing. Right. Because uh, landlords can request an, a background check. Right. So they also encounter uh, hurdles uh, looking for a, for, for a house. Yeah, and I, and I just heard so. recently in a situation where someone was working and, and doing a great job, the employer wanted to employ them up, but that required a quarry and mm -hmm. they had to work through some of those those challenges. So uh, mm -hmm. it, it can really impact in a, in a variety of ways and the housing included. And usually, well, the application, they cannot ask for, uh, for that in the application. But once they they are ready to go to the interview, they had they they have uh, they need to do the disclosure. Mm -hmm. So at least they have the opportunity to to explain. But sometimes they don't get a, a positive reaction from the from her, their employers. Right, right. And and the Center for Social Justice also, as I understand it, sometimes will take on research or or other kind of initiatives as well beyond kind of what what's here. Yeah, so we have the amazing client-facing uh, work that Gladys does through the center. And actually, if I could stick on Corey for just a minute, yep. we do have a, a program coming up that's open to anyone across the state. So if anybody is listening or knows someone who is interested in um, getting their Corey either sealed or expunged or exploring that or free legal services um, on April 6th at Holyoke Community College, it's, it's only 45 oh, minutes yeah. away from Easy here. Yep. Um, come on down. Uh, we're having a free quarry sealing um, and expungement event as well as a job fair. So uh, that's an opportunity for the public to come in. So we do things like that. We do um, community-based events. We do Know Your Rights um, trainings for people to let them know. Um, and we have amazing law students like yourself, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a former law student with us who um, are looking at systemic injustices in the court system. So we partner up with a number of organizations and collaborate with um, everyone from our primary funder, Mass Mutual, to um, other social service agencies uh, across our area. And we're looking at the impact um, of uh, race and racism and um, discrimination across the, right. the justice system. And Mass Mutual, an iconic, a very important Massachusetts-based company, but you know, based in Springfield uh, and a presence in Boston. So, so Gladys, you, you know, and, and Ariel, I'm glad you brought that up. Your work with the students. So this is giving the law school students real practical experience on how to, yes. do, to do the work. Yes, they get the opportunity to have a hands-on uh, legal experience. Uh, they also have the opportunity to be in a multicultural environment right. because they will be dealing with a ma people from many places, right. mostly Hispanics. And at the end of the day, I think that they will become uh, great professionals and attorneys, but also very compassionate and, uh, and empathic uh, persons. Yeah, and that's... Uh you know, <laughs> really important because you know, I know, and I have been the butt of jokes as you know, as lawyer. You know, lawyers sometimes are the butt of jokes. But you know, uh, I used I would say you know, people like to complain about lawyers except when they need one. And usually, mm -hmm. you need a lawyer when you're in a very difficult, challenging situation. And it's important to have those those skill sets that you described, Gladys, where you know you can listen, understand, try to get people to to kind of focus and understand that there is a way and a pathway mm -hmm. uh, to kind of settle things and, and, and there's a better days ahead. And that's a, a yes. important, po important to see that and learn that well as a student. Yes. So uh, we only have a, a minute left, I think, and want to make sure people get information about Western New England School of Law, but also the, the, the Center for Social Justice. How can they online? What can they Contact can, us. Yes, we're on mm -hmm. all the socials. So. Uh, look us up there. We have a website that's connected to the Western um, New England University School of Law website. Uh, our phone number is 413-796-2101. Um, email csj at wne.edu. 
And we'd be delighted to talk to you. Good stuff. Yes. Well, Gladys Villa Carreras is the staff attorney, and Ariel Clemmer, the director of the Center for Social Justice. Thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you so much. Good stuff. So much. And uh, stay with us for our final segment of Chamber Exchange, a TV show. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.